to walk a mile in another man's shoes, to go where he has already gone, to experience under the same circumstances what he has already lived through. My dad um, uh, has been a part of the Riverbank Run for 15 years. On Saturday, Josh Warren will run 15.5 miles in his father's shoes, literally. It is a big challenge, yeah, 15 and a half miles is a long way. As a means of taking his dad where he can no longer go and to experience for the first time what his father experienced so many times before. To carry on his passion for it, I'm trying to get that passion. His father, Christopher, was a regular in the 25K field at the Riverbank Run until knee surgeries and eventually replacement forced him to walk in the 5K. I just want to make him proud. Last September, while out for a walk simply to stay in shape and begin preparing for this year's Riverbank Run, Christopher Warren suffered a sudden massive heart attack, collapsed, and died. He was just 59 years old. He was out exercising, out walking, doing what he loves. And uh, so um, after he passed away, shortly after we talked about as a family how to you know, honor my dad, um, how to continue on things that he did. And one of those things that he did every year was the fifth third Riverbank run. So Josh, who had never been much of a runner, let alone a long distance runner, decided this year he would run the 25K in honor of his father. I thought, you know what, I should probably run in his place and literally I'm gonna be running in his shoes. The exact same shoes Christopher Warren was wearing when he collapsed and died eight months ago. I haven't worn them yet, I haven't put them on. They do fit, um, we've always been the same size. So for the past five months, mostly on his own, but at times with his sister Jenny, a Riverbank Run veteran who ran the 25K numerous times with their father, Josh has been running. It's pretty bold, but he, he has passion, and I know we both want to honor my dad, so um, I really, really admire what he's been doing. Preparing to take at least a part of his father, on one last Riverbank run. What do you think that would mean to him? The Riverbank was more than just a run to Josh's father, a lifelong educator and longtime principal in Hastings and Caledonia. It was also a fundraiser. Through donations and sponsors, Mr. Warren raised more than $80,000 through his runs for the students and facilities at Kettle Lake Elementary. This year we wanted to do the same thing, and we're looking to raise money um, for an as asphalt track and fitness stations around one of the soccer fields here at the school. A track to be named in Mr. Warren's honor. It would be strange if we didn't raise funds for something uh, for the kids this year. The traumatic loss of a father leading a 32-year-old son to go from, in his words, the couch in November to running 15 and a half miles uh, in May 11th. To keep his dad's spirit and sense of community alive. Every time I run, I think about my dad. Um, but on race day, it'll be especially special. It'll be um, incredible to be able to be in his place. And, um, and in his shoes. And in his shoes, literally. In Alto, Larry Figurski, 24-Hour News 8.